Welcome back everyone to the Theta Communications video series. Today we're going to be diving in to a Deutsche Telekom Part 2 as well as some NVIDIA lore. Before we proceed, let us thank our Theta stakers as well as our T-Fuel stakers over on ThetaCommunications.com. You make this content possible. As well as make sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment down below to boost Theta-related content in the YouTube algorithm. Alright, before we proceed, please make sure you watch this video before you go any further. This will give you some context as we proceed forward. Alright, let's head into this article here where Deutsche Telekom is now a validator for the Theta blockchain and participating as a collaborator. So with that being said too, they are also collaborating with NVIDIA, and NVIDIA specifically with mobile cloud gaming. And this is a significant step in relation to Theta, and bringing Theta to the forefront for these collaborations. If we head on down here for the network engineering and cost constraints, you can see right here through this paragraph. Consistent low latency performance depends on radio conditions, spectrum load, device support for L4S, and edge proximity to NVIDIA ingress points. So this is where the edge cloud stands out and why someone like Deutsche Telekom would be interested in the edge cloud as a service. Uh, this is going to help offload some of the costs that they may be incurring with NVIDIA. And then in turn, what's going to happen is NVIDIA is going to see or engage and say, hey, Theta Edge Cloud is a positive thing for us as a whole. We need to incorporate or collaborate or become validator nodes ourselves. So especially with the expansion that they have to keep doing, they have to keep pushing their market cap, keep maneuvering forward. It's very hard to do now that you're a $4 trillion, $5 trillion organization. Uh, to double the price or to double in size, you have to do a lot just to make that occur. So we are seeing them make partnerships, collaborations. It's prime season for Theta to be put into the limelight going forward. And we will give some of the breadcrumbs in this video here. So this new TechCrunch article, you can see NVIDIA has expanded their AI ties with Hyundai, Samsung, SK, and Naver. And with that being said, this is very significant uh, considering that Theta has connections with Hyundai, Samsung, and including Naver. Uh, we had an old partnership with Line. I don't know if many of you... Uh, remember this, but Line Blockchain, which is a sub of uh, Naver there, and this is a tie-in also too to Yahoo Japan, and really exciting going forward, especially as Yahoo Japan uh, and Line have collaborated into one. So there's, there's a lot of consolidation happening, uh, there's a lot of uh, different players playing around in the space, but it seems that Theta is continually in the orbit of these companies and it's just a matter of time of when they actually all connect collide and the gravity starts pulling them in so we also have a connection with Hyundai we did a video here over on YouTube uh, with Olsen HD and you can see that with Olsen HD is backed by Hyundai holding company for the Hyundai group as well as Olsen HD has become validators for the Theta blockchain. So there's multiple touch points going forward here. Uh, Samsung needs uh, no introduction by any means. They are the eighth validator node right here with over 2 million Theta in value here. So the connections are all there. Theta is orbiting around NVIDIA. And with the Deutsche Telekom collaboration, this is going to pull them in even closer. It can go even further than that too. With these car companies and integrations, shout out to Joe Stevens. Uh, Elon has been laying out different things going forward for Tesla AI chips. And look what's inside of these things. We have Samsung, Samsung, uh, Taiwan Semiconductor, it's Samsung. So the organizations and companies are all orbiting right around for the business model, as well as with XAI and him owning a car company as well too, uh, as well as Starlink and Internet and ISP. He has the ISP, which is uh, connecting all these different devices. He has the uh, the 
input side, which is X, right, where people are training Grok. And then he also has the training from the vehicles as well, too. So he is building out a massive competitive uh, modeling system going forward. So watching this very closely as we proceed, very exciting times ahead. And all while Theta is growing and expanding, and especially because NVIDIA now is pushing into South Korea. Uh, Theta has deep ties in th South Korea, especially with all the different universities that have been collaborating and the businesses over there. So with that being said, that should create uh, a great push forward, as well as the U.S. is also pushing in and making deals with South Korea as well, too. So everything is moving in the right direction. The crypto space currently is very beaten down, and it is not a reflection of the actions that have been taken underlying uh, to create uh, a massive uptick in the use of the edge nodes going forward. So really excited about this. Price does not reflect the actions underneath, and I really want to hit on that, especially considering uh, these things going forward, and this article especially too, will only increase and expand as we proceed into the future. That is clear by Deutsche Telekom's integration, uh, especially as they need uh, pushing forward for different uh, operations, whether that's in the factories, whether that's in collaboration with NVIDIA or their mobile networks. Uh, we have a bright future ahead, and it's just a matter of operators and people seeing that this is the hard chapter. This is the chapter that you have to push through and realize that there is a green pasture on the other side. It's just a matter of being able to see the forest through the trees. All right, everyone, I hope you have found this video well. I look forward to seeing you on the next one. And as always, I will see you on Tfue Island. Take care. Bye-bye.